So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how I've set up my Notion workspace to help me not only be organized, but stay organized throughout the week. So we're gonna jump right into how I have built the workspace to fit my agenda for every week. So I have never been able to stick to journaling, keeping a diary, keeping like a task list. I've sometimes written a little checklist in my Apple notes, but I've never really stuck to doing that every single day. I either overwhelm myself with too many tasks or underwhelm myself by not getting enough things done through the week. And I often just ended up like signing up for absolutely anything and everything and just having a lot of mismatched to-do lists across, you know, Todoist, Evernote, Trello, Apple Notes. But Notion has brought this all together in like one platform where you can kind of build absolutely anything to customize your own way of working and your own like productivity system built for you and how you like to work. So I thought I would create this video if you just got Notion and you don't know how to kind of set something up, hopefully this video can inspire you. Okay, so we're gonna start in my personal dashboard which is probably where I spend the most of my time. This quick reference section is just gonna be like a list for basically every other part of my life that I don't tend to check in with regularly. And then this dashboard also gives me a preview of my YouTube filming schedule. So it's nothing crazy, it's just more to keep me organized and keep myself to the deadline of like posting every Wednesday and having a good backlog of content. I've just got a preview of the filming schedule that's quite rough and usually I do move things around so I can quickly have a look at what I've got to film in the week by just looking at this little preview of the YouTube database which I will go into later but this is like linked to a separate a separate page on Notion and I'm just getting a little preview here. Basically how I work through my day so when I wake up part of my morning routine is to create a new journal for the day and this is just so that I can do some daily reflection. So basically I've created this template called daily entry here and it looks a little bit like this. So I've got my little emoji and so I got this idea from Mary Poulin. She basically emojis her daily journals according to the season. So I've got mine for summer. So I'll type in the date and then I've got a one word for the morning and one word for the evening that I like to put in got the tags for daily and then I just link this to a week schedule that I've got so that when I'm in the week schedule I can then see my daily journal entries for that and then it's just it's very simple here I like to journal based on prompts because it helps me to kind of think I don't like to brain dump because when I leave everything to myself I tend to just not do it which is why I can't stick to journaling in the first place so I got the morning ones so they may change in the future but I really like these ones right now the most important one for me is the highlights it's just something that I really want to get done during that day that'll probably like coincide with my weekly agenda as well. And then the evening, I've got a pocket of peace throughout the day, something I resisted and something I'd like to change for tomorrow. I really like to get these down on paper so that they don't like weigh on my mind. So I just fill that out. And then the most exciting part for me is the weekly agenda. So I'm gonna go into last week's weekly agenda just because it's completed. And so here I've got a lot of things going on. I link the weekly agenda to a uh, to my goals planner and a linked database so that I can like see what goals I want to focus on. I like to choose three words to categorize my week. So this one had bloated in it because I snacked a lot last week. I've also written that. I couldn't stop snacking all week. So it's definitely been on the back of my mind this week that, you know, I want to try and stop snacking. Something I had to film last week was the last video that has now gone live. So if you haven't seen that video yet, you know what to do. So yeah, I filmed that and this is also linked to my filming schedule. So if you'll see here, I can see all the lists of like videos I need to film and then I've got my film date here so I can just slot it in. And of course linked to journals and I did not start journaling until this week. So that's not got that many links in there. And then I've got just got a goal section which is also linked to the goals planner that was referenced up there. I'm actually just gonna open this as a page so it's easier to read. So yeah, so here I have three goals that I just manually write down, just maybe like three small things that are on my mind. 
a lot of things you'll see that I tend to do here are like kind of dumping things from my mind onto a notion template because the freer my mind is the more there is room to like focus on what actually needs to get done or not done or just focus on relaxing and not having a lot of things like weighing my mind down and then here I have another quick ref so here I will actually link to the journals life notes which is just a collection of quotes that I like to keep it's a little bit cringy but I do like to write down things that either resonated with me or I use to kind of motivate myself this is also kind of taken from Michelle's video on how she uses Notion so she uses this life notes thing and kind of creates a database of quotes and podcast references and things I've just kept it as a quote journal and I've actually kept some of the quotes that she had in there as well and then just going back to the weekly agenda and then I have a little YouTube growth tracker that I like to just keep and then I just have a link to my Google Calendar for stressful weeks that I intend to time block so time blocking doesn't really help me in my personal productivity system it helps more with work so for busy work days or work weeks I will use my Google Calendar and time block things to help me really try and get things done so I just have a link to that there but I don't really do much in terms of that and then here is a kind of part of the agenda that has taken inspiration from Marie Poulin's weekly agenda as well so she has a template list of buttons for things that she does kind of regularly through the week so I'll have film so I can kind of add one film yada 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 and then also iCast for vision because I'm studying for my um, CA or CPA for you Americans exams as well so I can like slot that time in so because I changed my agenda last week you're not going to see all of last week's tasks but basically these are all my habit building things so these are the things I want to do every single day so I've got my make my bed movement three liters of water 15 minute tidy and then a read an audible which I try and aim for like half an hour a day so that's um, kind of a way to help me tick off at least five things as you can see last week I didn't actually get every single thing done every day except the weekend and so part of the template is that I have a link to a huge task database where I just brain dumped every single thing that just needs to be done and I categorize the task. So here I've literally got like everything. I've got buy a shoe rack from Argos, cancel Skillshare premium. So I've got loads of stuff here that I will basically use to be able to make my weekly agenda list. And then I will delete the task database from the agenda just so it's not too cloggy. So once I've got all my things to do organized into what day I want to do them, I've pulled the videos and the revision slots in. Yeah, so I'll delete the database and then it'll be one neat six block agenda and I do this on a Sunday evening so that, you know, it's like set out for the week. And then at the end of the week, I've put in this new review section because I do want to reflect a lot more as part of my routine. I've been reading up a lot about the benefits of reflection and review, so I want to try and do that so I can kind of learn from things that didn't go so well in previous weeks. So this is new, so I've not really filled it out before, but these are the things that I want to basically note down week on week and slowly build up. So that's basically my weekly agenda, and that's what I will refer to every single morning to kind of get stuff done. So the next biggest section that I do spend quite a bit of time on is the goals planner so I'm just gonna fool with this so the goals planner is basically a OKR system or a KPI system that I've basically customized to fit goals like my personal goals in so the template for this is originally for KPIs for like a company maybe using notion so it's a similar system where you can track the progress and like break down goals by quarter and then into smaller measurable outcomes so I've got my goals here here for the quarter and I have actually written down um, all goals so for all goals I can see for the next quarter it's to pass my final exam for my accountancy qualification and I will put in those tasks at the end of the quarter down here I will just go back into goals this quarter so basically this is a database and you can change how you view the information in the database which is like hugely useful because you can actually view them by like calendar, board, table, so Kanban board, which Kanban boards are just amazing. So yeah, I've got my goals here and then I've broken them down. So for example, my lose 10 kilos that I've been trying to do since May, I've broken that down into exercising six times a week and a weekly weigh-in, which I kind of input in here every Sunday evening as well. So as you can see, it tracks the progress. Um, you track, manually track the like measurable amount that you're kind of aiming to hit 
for this goal, progress will calculate itself and it's linked to a certain goal. So then that progress automatically updates in this column here. And then that automatically updates in the quarter. We're not really looking like we'll hit 100%, but in my opinion, the whole point of like planning your goals is to try and aim for the top and try and hit slightly under. It keeps me kind of motivated and it does help me break down bigger goals into more manageable tasks so that is the goals planner then we just have like random little bits of kind of life information i'm just gonna quickly kind of flick through these the only important one i guess to kind of go through is my flat to do's so this is just one huge kanban board and i've got a plants column as well so plants i'd like to get or plants i do have that i keep in here here i've got things to do so i can create basically i can create tasks and i can even turn these into a list so that's what i'm actually gonna do this is actually imported straight from trello so i haven't actually changed this yet so here i'm gonna turn it into a to-do list and then there you go so that's now a to-do list and I can like tick that off for things to do. As you can see, there is loads of stuff to do. I want to do a DIY kitchen makeover. That's actually done. So I'm actually just gonna move that into done. So I can actually view this as a list if I wanted to, which will then show me a list of all the tasks to do. And then properties here, I can show the status. So then I can view it as a list of things that, you know, and then just going back to my personal dashboard, I'm actually got a little list of business ideas, which is just, again, another plain list, a recipes database, a wish list database. So I actually mentioned this list in my how to save money video. So this was originally as just a checklist in my Apple notes, and I've actually created a database here and then I've categorized them. So yeah, it's very simple. I kind of, I, th I think I'm going to add another checklist column as well. So I can just tick off things that I've got a reading list so here I've, I'm just intending to copy across links that I've saved over the months and the years and pop them into here I've not finished doing that yet so I've only got two in there and then I've got a babes on waves page as well to just track things that I'm learning in workshops and track important dates another link to the growth tracker that was in the weekly agenda and then another link to the life notes that was also linked in the weekly agenda so that's basically like my personal dashboard so that's everything to do with my life the flat cooking things i want to buy and then the next most important part that i use is the youtube dashboard so so this is the part of notion that has helped to transform the way i work and this has also been taken from thomas frank's notion template i've simplified his template a lot because he has a whole team of people who help to film, script and edit his videos. So he has to have a very like complicated way of doing that. But basically I have a ideas dump board. So it's a rough ideas I keep as a database here. And I categorize them all by status and by like category of video. So I've got these all in here. And then once they become an idea, they basically get turned into a template, which is a project template. So once you click project template, I'll show you one that I've published already. So going back to my 15 things I no longer buy, which is a video that I published two, three weeks ago. So this is related to the week that I filmed it in. So I can click on that week here. It's tagged personal finance. I've changed the status to published and obviously it's not got a film date anymore because I've already filmed it. But here I basically have a area where I can pop in any research and notes. I've actually popped the script in here, which is wrong, but, and then the script is obviously empty. So I think I probably moved that around. Oh. So I don't really use the editing checklist as much because most of the time I tend to film and then edit the next day. And then I just edit in one go. I don't really leave parts of the editing alone. I don't really use that much b-roll in my videos but once I start doing that then I can start to change this database as well. Just to show you the actual template of a new video, once I have an idea I will just fill out all these things here and I've actually because I've been doing a lot of research on storytelling I've got some prompts here to help me structure the video quite well and then I've just changed my research and notes into like a brain dump section add in some color because I add color to everything and then just change some stuff around here so so that's how the video ideas get structured in my YouTube dashboard and then my favorite part is obviously the, the filming schedule because it just allows me to see everything at once so as you can see here i'm filming a lot of stuff this week i've got my videos here that are like taken a bit further than ideas so it, videos that i basically want to film so yeah this is my 
YouTube dashboard and I love it. I rely on it a lot. I've also got my iCast dashboard and, and this is just one database. I've got no different views for this because it's more of a like, I have written loads of notes and I just want to tick when the notes are 100% complete and then tick once I've reviewed them. But because the style of exam that I'm doing right now is a huge case study that's done online, I basically just have to write down when I want to do the exam pass paper and then just tick it off when it's done. It's really useful for me to just look at this and see what instantly needs to be done. And here I can actually view it via deadline. And then we have a work dashboard. So I use, for work, I just use Kanban boards. The style of work I do is very deadline driven and things need to be done for a certain date. So I've got a different Kanban board for each client. This is one that's kind of active right now. So I've got lots of things I need to do, things I need to speak to the client about things that are blocked, things that are done. And this really helps when you then speak to your line manager because you can easily just tell them what's outstanding, what's blocked and what's done. So really easy way to organize all that. And I've added a link to this on my work laptop as well. That is my Notion workspace for now. I am continuously learning about how to use Notion. So, so as I develop my knowledge and change things around, I think this is gonna become really, really cool because the limits would Notion truly just don't exist. You can create things, you can create a hugely customized way of working for yourself and it's really really cool. So uh, Marie Poulin is a huge resource and I highly recommend watching her videos. She's the one who introduced me to having a huge task database. As you can see here if I go into my weeks template, weeks template, I can just pull from the task database here. So she's got loads of resources as well and of course there's just so many free templates out there that's crazy. So I hope this video helped. If you recently downloaded Notion and you're at a loss as to how to use it, it can seem really confusing at first, but the more videos you watch, the more templates you download, and the more you kind of figure out how you like to do things, the more sense it'll all make. Digital planning, digital organizing, and digital journaling is completely up my street. It's a lot better for me to be able to stick to it. Let me know if you want me to make any of these templates available because I think I can do that. I hope you have fun with Notion. But yeah, thanks for watching this video.